let's go with the flow. Welcome to my workshop and in today's video it's going to be all about the workflow. I'm going to show you how I get everything ready before I start doing any pen turning. You have to start off with choosing the pen kits you want to use and then choose the pen blanks. I suppose it's very important to match the pen blank with the pen especially the color if the colors don't match you can either make the pen or spoil the pen now what i do once i've chosen my my pen kits and i've chosen the matching pen blanks i unpack everything i need actually let me show you i'm going to do four pens and i've already unpacked everything i need on the table i have four let's call them pen prep boxes and in the first one I'm going to do a Sierra pen now I've done the Sierra pens before so I don't really need the instructions and in there I have the pen blank the drill bit the bushings and then the pen kit now I've chosen a copper and black pen kit and to go with that this is my pen blank. In the next box I'm doing a 24 carat gold plated Celtic pen and once again that's the pen kit, the bushings, the drill bit and a pen blank. A few weeks ago I did a casting with a pine cone and I chose red so I reckon the pine cone, the red and the gold will go nicely together. In the next box a European pen kit The bushings, the drill bit, and then the pen blank. Now, in this case, um, this will be my first European pen kit, so I have the instructions, and I'm glad I read the instructions because there's a little bit of a trick involved for doing the center ring of this pen. So I've gone with gun metal and a, a railway sleeper. Now this is a very dark wood so I reckon the dark wood and the gun metal pen blank will go nicely together. If my memory serves me correct this is Pango Pango. It's a very hard wood and very durable wood and that's why they used it for railway sleepers but I reckon this has got a good grain and it will make a nice pen and in, in my last in my last box I have everything except the bushings and I suppose that's why you need to unpack to make sure that you have everything so the pen bushings for this pen, the Dragon pen, uh, is on order, so I'm waiting for delivery. I'll show you what pen blank I've chosen for this. Now the Dragon Twist pen, I chose Antique Copper. It's got a nice copper colour. And then I've gone with yellow and red. It's almost a fiery yellow fireball 
kind of color. So I reckon these two will go nicely together. Talking about reading the instructions, make notes. I think it's very important as you go and you increase your different kinds of pens, pen kits, make notes because eventually they will come in handy. And I've kept a, an a assembly sheet for every pen and I've made notes. Especially where I do all my castings. So it's very important to make notes. Something you can refer back. Uh, like for instance, a, a good example is the European pen. I'm doing it for the first time. There's a bit of a trick to it. I'm going to make a note, two, three weeks, six months, even next year, I might do another European pen. And then I've got my notes I can refer back to. Now the reason I'm doing this is you're not only going to do one pen at a time. It's not going to all be slim lines. It's going to be different kinds of pens. So that's why I packed them in boxes. I take pen box by pen box by pen box and prepare the pen. So what I like to do is choose the pens and then choose all the pen blanks, match the color obviously, and then I would go and cut all the pen blanks to the correct brass tube length. So I'll do all the cutting and I would take all the brass tubes, scuff them up on the, on the drill press, get them ready for gluing. So then I'll do all the gluing. When, when you glue, they say you can use the pens within half an hour, depending what glue you use, sometimes an hour. So just make sure that that glue really sets. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly cut the pen blanks to length, scuff up the brass tubes, do all the drilling on the, on the, the lathe for the brass tubes and then do all the gluing. I'm just going to fast forward and straight after the gluing I'll be back with you. And that's all the pen blanks prepared. So we need to give these pen blanks some time to dry to do for the glue to really cure. The next step is to turn the pens. So I have to put them on the mandrel and take them through the turning process. And then the last thing to do is do the assembling. I've started the first pen. I've done the turning. I've done the sanding the CA glue and the polishing. Let, let me show you what it looks like and then I'll show you the workflow and the procedure I follow to do the sanding and polishing. And that's the first bit ready for assembly. I'm going to unpack the pen kit and assemble it. But before that, let me just take it from the mandrel and we're ready to go. And that is the first pen done. Very happy with the outcome. Now let me show you the workflow on how I do the sanding and the polishing. After turning, I take the pen sanding and polishing through three stages. So I unpack everything. That's all ready for sanding. That's all ready for CA glue. And this is all ready for polishing. And once all that is done, I do all the assembling in the spice. And that is how I do it. Once the pens are turned and polished and assembled, I think what I'll do is take a few photos of the pens, do a bit of a video, and then do a slideshow at the end of this video. And before we forget, the admin, as usual, Please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, let me have them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Happy 
pen boxing and sorting, always go with the flow. And until the next time, happy pen turning. Laka laka. just beam myself up to my office. My cat says he wants to go with me. You want to go to my office? Hold on, hold on, and here we go. Until the next time, laka laka.